you're in the area of Chautauqua, stop in at Hogan's Huts. <laughs> Give me a yo yo up down. Yeah. Yo yo up down, muskies in. <laughs> What's up, Yins guys? Welcome back to Fishing PA with Ryan Reed in part two of Muddy Creek Fishing Guides. So, in the first video, I talked about our trip with Vance. Really awesome trip. Um, I highlighted what it's like to fish with Vance. Just a really awesome experience to get my brother's first muskie. However, Dana and I had a trip planned with Mr. Todd Young, the man, the myth, and the legend for September of this year. And I was super excited because we had a chance to fish with him last year and it was just very, very tough weather. We had 45 mile per hour winds and it was just a rough day. New year, new trip. So I was super pumped about this to get out there with Todd. Now, if you guys know Todd, you know that he's really one of the most humble fishermen and human beings you'll ever meet. He is so down to earth and really he's a legend. He's like a local legend in our area. I mean, he grew up with Dale Wiley. He's fished with Dale Wiley. He's fished PMTT. He's fished all over Canada, US. He's got so much experience in the sport of muskie fishing and dealing with muskies for me, it's like a, it's like an honor to fish with him. I'm like, when we get days booked with Todd, it's like, whoa, this is super cool because I'm super excited to fish with Todd Young. Like, that's how I feel about it. And the fact that he's like so humble and down to earth and he really just cares about his clients, he makes you feel right at home on the boat. I mean, it just makes this trip super special. So really looking forward to this. So it was kind of cool. We, we got up there. Um, I stopped at Hogan's Hut. I picked up a raptor. Pretty sweet raptor in that uh, Three Kings pattern. Got it at Hogan's Hut. And we met Todd and we went out fishing. So the conditions this year, a little bit different. Okay, we had a lot of rain though on that first day. I mean, it rained and rained and rained. And it was a grind. But I can tell you guys that Todd Young works extremely hard for his clients. He really does. You know, he gets you in the boat. Again, he's willing to talk and communicate and share information. And the really cool thing was hearing stories from years past on fish and fishing trips and really, you know, picking his brain about casting and trolling and where he's running his baits, where he's fishing, where he casts in spring and, and in fall. And all of this stuff, again, this is the prime opportunity for you to get out there and pick his brain. A local legend in our area. Pick his brain. Learn as much as you can. So we went out on the water and we fished and we fished and we fished. And this cold front and this these weather fronts that were coming in, I swear to you, it was just, it felt like the entire lake shut down. You gonna say something funny? Just anything funny? You gonna tell a joke? No. No jokes. No joke. Knock knock. No. <laughs> that didn't stop Todd. We stayed positive. He kept us in the game and zit, 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 goes the rod. So here's the first fish from that trip. Shorten up. 
Nice. because I want to have you sit on the back. I just don't want to lose the mat. Yeah, we got the mat. Go ahead. All right, you want to sit there? Yep. Nice. Wound up. There she goes. I was excited for Dan. You know, Dan got this fish. It was an upper 30s fish, 37-ish. Really beautiful coloration on that fish. Got some pictures, and then it was like, okay, it's my turn. Now, before we went out, I told Todd, I said, I would love one big bite. That's all I want. If I got one fish and it was a 45-inch muskie, would be my new personal best. It would be a breakthrough on Chautauqua. That would be... Just absolutely mind-blowing to me if we could make that happen. So we fished the rest of the first day, didn't get a single rip. Now, you know, got to hang out with Todd a little bit, you know, eat some dinner, and it was just really fun. Again, Todd being that down to earth and just sharing so many cool stories with us. I felt I was almost like enamored at certain times, just like listening to him talk. And it was just one of those things where I was refreshed, we got out the next day, and we just kept fishing. Now, the second day was a little bit more sunny. It was on the sunny side, a um, little bit warmer. So I had a little bit different expectations. We were approaching this. We're going to start off trolling, then we're going to do some casting, and that's exactly what we did. So we fished all day. musky fishing would have it we're starting to get to the 11th hour and we didn't have a single rip so here's the funny story at one point Todd looks over at me and he says there's something I haven't tried yet he stands up walks over to his dashboard and he's got this little female Buddha doll sitting on his sitting on his dashboard and he gave that little doll a rub Sat back down and said, sometimes you got to rub the Buddha. I laughed. I thought it was funny. You know, I was really hoping that was going to work. So as we're sitting there talking, zip, 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 rod goes off. My turn. Super pumped. I jump up. I grab the rod. And here is the footage from that fish. The heck happened to the reel? That was amazing. the downer off for sure. All thing, eight hours. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. We're on the second We do one, so we do one. Oh my god. Walk back, walk back. 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 Walk back.
That was my fault. I should have walked back. It's not like we're... Other side, other side, other side. What? It's a good fish too, Todd. Yeah! I think my arm was in the way, but yeah! What's your new fish in the back Oh, that's a good fish. I don't know if it's... That's a good fish. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if it's 45, but it looks like a good fish to me. Yeah, it's, I think it's... Oh, shit. No, I'm, I'm not on the bump. 45. 45. There you go. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah. There he goes. Well, that just so happened to be a 45 inch muskie on Chautauqua Lake, which equals my personal best fish. So bottom line here, guys, is Todd Young worked his tail off for us in the boat. I mean, absolutely worked his bottom side off trying to get us that fish. And somehow, some way, a big 45 inch muskie decided to eat that bait. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, 45 is not that big. For me, that's a huge fish. I don't care. A 45 inch muskie is a healthy fish. It is a big fish. For me, that's a personal best and that's a breakthrough on Chautauqua. So, you know, this again, getting to hold that fish, getting to feel the weight of that fish, just staring at the coloration on that fish. It was just such a special thing for me in general. Now, I did say that my brother's fish was my favorite fishing moment. I think this one was my second favorite this year, for sure. And it's just so cool that it happened on Todd's boat, in that ranger, on Chautauqua, where I have struggled so much in the past couple of years. So really, guys, again, Muddy Creek, you know, first muskie, personal best muskie. You know, you, you guys go out and you schedule these trips. You pay these guys to take you fishing, and they deliver. And when it does happen, when, when you get that type of fish or when you get your first muskie, I can promise you guys it is worth every single penny that you spend on these types of trips. So just to recap this, um, again, super excited about fishing with Muddy Creek, getting to spend some time with Vance and Todd, and really just learning as much as I can as a fisherman from these two guys. Um, completely worth it. I would love to book trips every month for throughout the entire year for the next 10 years. Um, you know, it's one of those things we're going to pick and choose when we can do it. Um, but again, if you guys are on the fence or if you just really wanted to kind of see what it was like just to get an idea, you know, I would urge you to reach out to Todd, reach out to Vance and just schedule a trip and go for a day. Just take a day, go fishing with them. You'll see what a relaxed scenario it is, what a relaxed situation it is. You're going to go out there and you're going to have a lot of fun with these guys. You're going to get to talk fishing. You're going to get to learn a lot about trolling and casting, bait selection, color selection, line lengths, what type of gear they're using, how they're using it. 
Um, you get to just pull from a wealth of information from these two guys that do it every single day. So I promise you, you will not be disappointed in Muddy Creek Fishing Guides. They are premier guide service, and I will recommend them to every single person I meet in the musky community if they haven't fished with them already, because I can tell you, if you fish with them, you're going to fish with them again. So guys, just one, one quick thing here, and I'll end this one. Just a quick shout out again to Muskie's Inc. Chapter 16. Um, you know, the Charlies and the Evans and really just, you know, Tom Venata and all these guys that I've been talking to and fishing with. Um, you got Owen, Big O's Bucktails. You know, again, member of Muskie's Inc. Chapter 16. Um, just awesome, awesome people. I might as well give Nick Feisler a little shout out too. But Muskie's Inc., it's such a great way to meet fishermen in the muskie community get good technical resources for the sport of muskie fishing. You know, the club is just a really, really good thing. They do a lot for the fisheries. They do a lot of work with veterans. Um, they do, we're going to be doing some work with promoting fishing for the youth. Um, I just had the pleasure of updating their website for chapter 16. So go out online, check out chapter 16 muskies Inc. What a wealth of knowledge they can be for you guys as a muskie angler and a great way to get out on the water with guys that have been doing it for a long time. So I can't say enough about Muddy Creek Fishing Guides and I can't say enough about Muskies Inc. Two resources that have helped me grow tremendously in 2020 and really catch more fish and learn as much as I can about the fish and the sport. All right, guys, that's all I have. You know, again, check out Muddy Creek Fishing Guides, Todd Young, Vance Kalos. Check out Fat AZ. Musky products, you've got the Raptor, you've got the Softies, you've got rod holders, best rod holders on the planet as far as trolling goes. Um, you know, check out Muskies Inc. right here. Great resources for you guys as fishermen, great club to be a part of. And just get out there and keep fishing. Keep fishing through all this craziness that's going on this year. Never stop casting and good things will happen. So that's all I have for you guys. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you guys like this content, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate each and every one of you. The comments that you guys left me, um, just all of the feedback, whether it's positive or negative, you guys helped me so much get better at this thing. And it's still fun for me, so I'm going to keep doing it. All right, guys. For now, we'll just say tight lines. We will see you next time.